and Vanderbilt plucked one of our guys, uh, taking Barton Simmons uh, to be their GM. So certainly he's going to try <laughs> oh, to help Clark turn that Lee program. heard about that quite a bit from us. Oh, I'm sure he did. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure he loved it. Hey, but at least now we can get some inside scoop when Vanderbilt turns it around and we can just uh, give uh, Barton right. a call and just say, hey, hey, what do you got here? All right, meantime, uh, some more <laughs> big news on Wednesday. According to the Houston Chronicle, Big 12 powers Texas and Oklahoma have reached out to the SEC about possibly joining the conference, adding Texas and Oklahoma would give the SEC 16 teams. They went to 14 teams nine years ago with the addition of former Big 12 schools, Texas A&M and Missouri. Dennis, what do you make of a possible Super League? Yeah, being a veteran of conference realignment from 10 <laughs> years ago, 11 years ago, my head was spinning when that text came across about Texas and Oklahoma. It's, it's mind-boggling. It, if it happens, uh, the SEC would be college athletics. I mean, yeah. that's as simple as that. It would just be a question of how much they want to grow. Do they want to stay at 16, or do they want to go with 32 and just control the whole thing? It's curious in that I never thought Texas would be interested because of the academic angle they have. Oklahoma is more of a fit, but if Oklahoma and Texas come, Oklahoma would be maybe the fifth best program. Texas would be the sixth. Mm -hmm. But for, what, $60 million a year in rights fees money, you can swallow a lot of your pride. But in our reporting this afternoon, we haven't gotten, I don't think, much traction on if it's going to happen. I think, uh, you know, you'd agree that there has been some buzz out there, mm -hmm. but nothing permanent. The report said that, it, and Brent Swenerman from the Houston Chronicle doubled down and said, it's going to happen fairly soon. That'll be interesting. Yeah, and I think Dennis and I basically stalked Greg Sankey yeah. for like two hours after that report went down. And I don't know how many times we got some variation of, we're just focused on the 2021 season, which is not a denial. Not and a nobody denial. else has denied anything about this too. So I do think there's some smoke there, but like Dennis said, it, the logistics of this, are going to be really interesting because we talked to Ross Bjork, the AD from Texas A&M. He's been here roaming the halls all day. Clearly, he was not on board with this idea. And Texas A&M does have a say. And then you look at the, what last time, veterans of realignment. Dennis and I are. Georgia, South Carolina, and Kentucky all have an agreement that they will not add, they will not vote for the addition of a team inside their state. I would imagine Texas A&M is also in that contingent. So if this does happen, it's going to be pretty interesting to see how Greg Sankey and how Texas and how Oklahoma get some of the votes from the presidents and the athletic directors in the SEC. And how do they get the, how does the SEC get the votes and how do Texas and Oklahoma extract themselves from that league's grant of rights, which says if you leave before the current TV contract, the league owns your TV rights. So unless they want to sue their own league back to the Stone Age to get out of it, which might be worth it to go to the SEC, this could get really interesting. Never a dull moment. No. Well, it's, it's not just the players. Now the school's looking to uh, join the transfer portal. Texas and Oklahoma perhaps <laughs> looking to join the SEC uh, transfer portal there. We'll see about that. We are, though, inside 40 days to the start of a new college football season. Can't wait. Barrett Slee, Dennis Dodd joining us from SEC Media Days. Thank you, men. And here's a look at the odds to win the national championship this season. Alabama favored to repeat at plus 260, followed by Clemson and Ohio State. Last season, Alabama rolled to its sixth national title under Nick Saban, crushing Ohio State 52-24. Hope you had the over in that one. Nick Saban has repeated just once at Alabama, winning back-to-back -back titles in 2011 and 2012. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.